Hey, I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 94. <laughs> Maybe you use Netflix. Neil and I do the Blockbuster thing, and a few days ago, Blockbuster emailed a request to complete a survey. Who doesn't enjoy a good survey, provided it doesn't get too personal or take too long? So I sat down to answer the questions. It was all standardy dandardy until we got to a Likert scale page that interspersed perfectly reasonable statements with statements that seemed to be more about evaluating our sanity than our movie habits. Statement number one, I read books if they're related to movies. I chose neither agree nor disagree because we read all kinds of books. Statement number two, I often talk about movies with friends, coworkers, and family members. No brainer, strongly agree. Statement three, watching movies is an escape for me. Absolutely strongly agree. It's pretty much our only downtime. Statement number four, I learn how to handle real life situations by watching movies. What? Of course not. Who does that? Strongly disagree. Statement number five, movies help me forget about the day's problems. Sure, I agree with that. Statement number six, movies are my favorite form of in-home entertainment. Well, there is one thing we like better, but that's private, so strongly agree. Statement number seven, I enjoy talking about movies with friends, coworkers, and family members. We're getting repetitive here, but yes, I strongly agree. Statement eight, I would love to be an actor in a movie. Keyword, a movie. Who wouldn't want to be in a movie? Agree. Statement number nine, here's where the real psych evaluation begins. I would love to meet the characters of certain movies. The characters? Are you kidding me? Blockbuster is seriously asking if I would like to meet fictional characters of certain movies. No, I'm not insane. <laughs> I strongly disagree. As you'll note on the graphic, I actually answered disagree because you always want to leave room for the hypothetical. Statement 10. I get ideas for movies about how to interact in my own life. Maybe when I was 10. Strongly disagree. Statement 11. I often buy clothing styles that I've seen in movies. Technically, Neil picks out my clothes because I was such a tomboy, but yes, he buys my clothes based on what he likes in movies. Currently, the trend is Jennifer Aniston from Along Came Polly and Bruce Almighty. Too complicated. Neither agree nor disagree. Statement number 12. I like to imitate the gestures and facial expressions from the characters in certain movies. Again, not insane. Strongly disagree. Statement number 13. I usually remember the names of the actors and directors from the movies I watch. Of course, I live in the celebrity-obsessed 21st century. Agree. Statement number 14. I try to speak like the characters in certain movies. What? Strongly disagree. I felt bad about answering that way after we saw Barat. Borat. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Statement number 15. I have objects that relate to certain movies I like. Posters, books, etc. Unless you count Harry Potter books, strongly disagree. I think I should take away the strongly, though. Statement number 16. I find myself saying phrases from movies when I interact with people. Very nice. Strongly disagree. Statement number 17. I relay what happens in certain movies to my own life. That was kind of a convoluted statement, but I'm pretty sure I strongly disagree. And finally, statement number 18. If I'm in a bad mood, watching movies puts me in a better mood. Yeah, if it's a happy movie, I agree with that. I would give anything. Well, no, I wouldn't, but I am curious about what Blockbuster is really trying to learn about me and my movie watching habits. It really did seem like I was filling out the California Psychological Inventory, but I feel like I sufficiently demonstrated to Blockbuster.com that I am, in fact, a perfectly sane movie watcher. King in the castle, king in the castle. I'm Callie Lewis, and back by popular demand, The Thick Man. Who are you and what are you doing in my room? I'm the fellow you called. Well, actually, you call me agency, they call me, but that's just minutia. You have some sort of dilemma? Why, yes, I do. What is it, doll? Well, I have this killer web 2.0 idea, and I don't know how to start. Can you help? Indeed. Mind if I sit? Oh, of course. I'm sorry. Make yourself comfortable. My experience in this crazy world, a good idea starts with a good name. What are you going to call it? Well, I don't know. I have some ideas based on the concept. Then here's what you need to do, kid. Go to GoDaddy.com on the internet. GoDaddy? Yeah, but watch how you say it, doll. You could get a fellow riled up. Maybe I wouldn't mind getting a fellow like yourself a little riled up, mister. <clears throat> call me GB. Now I gotta go use this code when you check out. They'll give you 10% off your order. GB1, is this your personal code, GB? Yeah, and I don't give it to just anyone. Now I gotta see a man about a situation. Excuse me, doll, and have a good day. But wait, GB, I have more questions. And I have more answers, but they'll have to wait for another time and another place. GB's a man of mystery, yet a gentleman too. He looks danger in the eye and brings answers for you. I know you have questions don't understand it's okay there's no way to confound the thick man
Statement two, I often talk about movies with friends, coworkers, and family brains. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Statement number nine, here's where the real Sakovate. Sack of eggs. <laughs> Sack of eggs. Psych evaluation. That makes 